Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another video log of the Outreach Foundation. We find ourselves in Poland. We're right across the way from the airport because we're on our uh, way back in the next uh, day or so. And it's uh, been a delightful visit uh, and looking forward uh, to sharing more about this visit over the coming days with you all through the lenses of the people who participated. And two of those folks here are with me today, Larry and Catherine Michael. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. I'm Catherine. I'm a retired financial advisor. I'm a, uh, an elder at South Island Presbyterian Church and president of the foundation there. And um, found myself called to help lead a marriage retreat in Poland. It's been an amazing experience. Yeah, it has. It has. Larry. Uh, well, I'm Larry, and uh, I am pastor for adult ministries at South Highland Presbyterian Church for 10 years. And uh, I've been in a lot of different mission situations, but I've been here before yeah. with the people, uh, some of the people with whom we gathered this time. But I didn't come as a marriage retreat leader. So that was a unique experience mm -hmm. for both of us yeah. this time around and one that really helped us in our own marriage experience. Yeah, and you all did such a great job with that. Uh, South Highland, for those of you who don't know, is in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, fantastic uh, anchoring church uh, uh, for the Outreach Foundation has been with us for a long time. And, and Larry, it's been great to have you over to this part of the world, uh, Ukraine. I might start just by asking you, you've been here before. Have you seen any differences between this visit and the, the ones previous? Well, um I think that the people here obviously are a little bit different in some ways than the people in Ukraine, but I, there's an openness here, and it was great to be able to be with people who are involved in ministry, mm -hmm. because I think pastors have a commonality of experience, and so that was useful to know that the people were going to be here that, that had an understanding about that, and I had a chance to come to really appreciate their ministries, their challenges, and also the idea of their own personal marriages and how that impacts what they do for Christ. And this, this uh, for those of you who don't know, our, our, our really anchoring event or action item here was uh, to facilitate a marriage retreat f for several clergy couples or, or couples involved in ministry in some way. And that was just a very uh, meaningful type of moment. Mm -hmm. um, Catherine, what was it like preparing for this <laughs> it was very interesting um it it <laughs> um our dining room table was full of books and laptops for about two months before the retreat um i really enjoyed the preparation that's something i enjoy doing um so we didn't know who was coming and we didn't know uh, much about them in terms of what what their perceptions or needs were and so we just were led we were led by the spirit to do what we did and, and you all really rolled with it because uh, the retreat started out with one focus, right. became something else, and then ended with something else. Right. So you all really and were very flexible, and thanks for doing that. Um, as you reflect back on the retreat now, we're done. It was a three-day retreat. You all did a great job really leading us through some real cool uh, teaching moments, some tools. You heard some things at the end, some, some takeaways can you both reflect on that as a little bit? What what was the impact that you heard? What what m was most meaningful to you when the participants shared how God really had moved in their their hearts uh, and minds through this experience? I have one. There was there was a woman there who was not with her husband. Mm. He was not a believer and didn't feel comfortable coming. She came by herself to a marriage retreat, and she spoke no English. Uh, most of the other participants did. She spoke no English, and we didn't hear one word from her during the whole entire retreat, not, not one word. But at the end, when you asked for people's input, uh, she was very um, outgoing and very um, appreciative. She had heard everything that had gone on, and she found a lot of uh, reassurance and a lot of help of what we were talking about. And I think her comment was, uh, I didn't realize that other people felt like we did. Other people had the same challenges that we did as a couple. So it was very yeah, was wonderful cool to hear that. Yeah, Larry, what about you? I think what I heard from them was an encouragement uh, for their particular situations of ministry and marriages 
And especially when we divided up in the men and women, uh, the men that, that I was with, uh, you were part of that, were very vulnerable in sharing about their own experiences. And it was really exciting to see that we were able to make a connection and they were able to make a connection to each other. And I think that uh, that's one of the great values of a mission like this is that you, you become connected with people in other parts of the world and it is all about the fellowship of Christ and supporting each other. So we find ways to do that. And a marriage retreat was the vehicle, or whatever you want to call it, for, for this particular mission. And, and, and thanks for sharing that. Did, I think it was surprising to me to hear um, that this is not a common thing. You know, it's some of the things that we assume many people do in the United States, we get together, we have support teams and retreats and such. But... it. They each said, this is not something that we do, and we fell alone. So um, that, what kind of impact does this, do you think this has on you as a couple? <clears throat> well, we learned a few things. Oh, man, <laughs> we did, yes, and, uh, and are learning. And it's obvious, I always say that marriage is not a peaceful pasture. It's a dynamic adventure. <laughs> yes. And sometimes it's a roller coaster of emotions and all kinds of things. But I think that we... We come away from this, at least I do, with a determination to um, utilize some of the things that, that we learned and taught in our own marriage. And we all need help with our marriages. Um, so that's, that's great. And, and we have things in mind that we want to do. Okay. Anything you want to add? Um, we're, we teach together, so we're accustomed to that. And for us, it was fun for us. Um, and um, I, I was just encouraged by the... Uh, the faith and the and the the commitment of the people who were who were in the in the, mm, the group, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's something we hear often. Listen, thanks again for sharing your reflections with us. Thank you for doing this with us, and we will be sharing a little bit more later on. Um, the, if you would like to hear more about our, our uh, visit to Poland with uh, the Novus Foundation, uh, please uh, continue to look for more information, whether it's by video or we'll have some write-ups as well. Thanks for listening, and God bless. <laughs>